Hey guys, my name is Simap, and today it's Wednesday, so here's a new tutorial for you. Today I decided to bring to you a new concept. This concept is about a shower. As you can see, I've already built this nice looking bathroom. There's a toilet. There's... Oh, okay. <laughs> the sound scared me. <laughs> There's a little sink. And here it is the shower. So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to build this and most importantly how you can make this work. So let's see if I flip the lever boom here we are the shower it has some sound effects too and you can go in it and take a shower. Also I've decided to add a small addition which is this button right here that I'm going to show you later on in the tutorial. So let's start to see how to build this shower. So, okay, I've removed Corners it from the bathroom. bathroom. So the first thing we're gonna do is find a spot where you wanna build the shower. I recommend uh, building on the corners of your bathroom so it looks better. So we're gonna dig a 2x2 hole and place quartz slabs in it. So the wall of the bathroom was made of quartz blocks so I decided to use quartz as the material for the shower. I don't know how it will look like using other materials but if you want you can try them out and see if other materials look nice too. So the next thing we're gonna do is build a sort of ceiling let's see for the um, shower and then as you saw uh, from the beginning I placed banners this way but they were not attached to the ground but they were attached uh, like they were attached to a block like this uh, so let me okay they were attached this way you can't do that in survival so I am going to use a little trick which is which uses command blocks so you have to place the banners where you want them to be and then with here comes the command block part so let's place a block there looking at the first block which is this one I'm gonna type in fill then space then press tab three times uh, this will be the coordinates of this block here so then press enter then look to the other block of the rectangle of the square in this case and same thing uh, press tab and the coordinates will appear then type in piston underscore extension okay so it needs to be written as it is right now or if you're not sure you can just type tab and it will auto complete what you have written so press enter and you see that the blocks apparently will disappear it looks like there is nothing but there's actually an invisible block and yeah that's how I made it so uh, next thing we're gonna do we're gonna place a lever right here and the shower is almost done next we're gonna use some command blocks right here so I'm gonna take a button also uh, place the command right here place the button and boom as you can see this little uh, thing here which is the shower appeared it's an android on the head of an arm stand and yeah as you can see now it works of course uh, in order to make this work you'll need these two command blocks here and I'm going to explain you um, what they do. So the first one, this is a really simple creation, so it's nothing too complex. So if we look, uh, if we look at the command block which uh, summons that armus, then we see that apart from all the other attributes, uh, there is a tag which is shower. So that armor stand has the tag shower. Whenever that armor stand called shower detects that there's a lever in this block here 
uh, if you want to use it in your own world you'll have to replace these coordinates because you won't have my same coordinates because every world is different from each other so if you wanna for example um, take this lever let's see so we are gonna do a test for block command okay so if you press tab you get the coordinates of this block and you can just type in lever and then a random number let's say one so here it says that this um, block has the data value of 3 but if we flip the lever it's gonna say that he has that it has the data value of uh, 11 so here we go we're gonna type in um, these coordinates here okay let's see let's see let's see okay we're gonna paste in the coordinates make sure that all the coordinates are separated by only one space and here we're gonna um, type in 11 and not 10 and so with the other command which just uh, plays a the sound so again we're gonna replace this and here okay so now this lever controls the shower and not this one anymore so you see this one does nothing and this one controls the shower so that means we successfully um, changed the lever so this is what you're going to do in your own world another feature which is <laughs> which is like useless but I thought it was cool and oh now I have to so if I press this button it's going to give me there is a command block underneath that's why it's giving me this and it's soap basically so let me activate the shower and you can see I can take a shower and do my things and with this soap item I can drop it and boom <laughs> it will play a sound and some particles which I think they look like soap <laughs> will uh, appear and yeah you can uh, stay here in the shower as long as you want <laughs> there is no problem with uh, water because it's infinite at least in Minecraft not in real life <laughs> but anyway this was my working shower in Minecraft if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new and oh oh one last thing is that if you wanna have the soap too I'll leave all the commands for the soap in the description in these commands you don't have to change anything so you're just you just have to copy them um, yeah and paste them so that's it for this video I'll see you this Saturday with a new one command creation. Stay tuned. Bye bye.